Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to my channel. And we have a brand new mod pack. It's called Cuboid Outpost. And full disclaimer, I was on early beta testing with this mod pack, but it's changed a lot since I was in it. And it's a brand new thing to me. So I'm decided I'm going to record it. And also I get a shout out right at the end. So, I mean, how can I not record it? Because I get a shout out. I'm in the quest book, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm all excited. And um, let's start. It's a, it was an interesting concept. I really liked it. And I can't wait to do it again. So let's start. So, um, Cuboid Outpost, you start in a room. You go out. You have a room, that earth, snow, that is snow, right? Yep, snow block. And we've got generators. So we, you know, we start off pretty good. We have stuff. We have a um, AE2 drive. I mean, I'm really happy that I don't have to go in and start it because I don't like AE2. I find it a bit faffy. But, um... That's just me. We start with an iron shovel and snowballs. And I seem to remember, oh, how many snowballs do we have? Take all these out. I seem to remember you put the snowballs in this thing here. Doesn't tell you how many you have, but it converts it into water and that's our water source. We have a sink, but it's not an unlimited water source. So we can just get more, um, more snowballs from out here. What else? We have a fridge with nothing in it, but it looks cool. Oh, I didn't even see the inside. That looks pretty cool. Um, we also have a pulverizer. Yeah, you have a pulverizer. We have a redstone furnace, a centrifugal separator, Anything else of interest? There is a um, a cube up there. Energy cube, I think. Yep, there's an advanced energy cube. And that's pretty much it. And also we have the bedroom with a bed and drawers. I don't think there's anything in these. Oh, there's materials. In, oh, there's nothing in this. And you start off with a couple of books. So you've got your quest book, which let's just pin that to start. Lots of stuff lots of stuff and um you also get materials in you from tinkers and the one probe and i moved my one probe from did i move it no i don't think i moved it it's up in the corner i may have moved it i don't know uh okay he did I don't know what this is. I think if you shift click, right, go put it there, full transparent, black and white. Nah, don't like that. Whaler default. Put it transparent. Okay, right, so it's up in the corner. Something different. Let's see if I remember that it's there. So, first thing we need to do start the quests the beginning of the end okay basically we're stranded i will let you guys read all of this but we are stranded the scientific division at the cuboid core have made a little bit of a mistake and they managed to quantum entangle not two but three singularities at once and that's how we got to be stranded I'll let you guys, you know, when you do the mod pack, you can read through it because I don't want to spend the whole time sitting here and reading stuff. Oh, so, but let's go. Right. So we've got the beginning and what happened. There is an explanation of what's happened. Let's click that. Look on the bright side. There's a bright side. Uh, your outpost is amazingly well equipped as well. You know, there's renewable power. There's a fridge. Top of the line technology, the latest in digital storage, a bed, all the water you can melt and somewhere warm to protect you from the elements. Yeah, we know it's not the elements we need to worry about. 
but we get Russian packs. Okay, cool. And the bad news, and there's no natural plant life, and it's completely barren. There's no native animal life and unlim and limited natural resources. Okay. Why am I not surprised? And finally, the really bad news. And um, we get mobs, basically. So because we get mobs, we get a sleep charm. And that will help us sleep through the night. Steps and task info. What's this? Steps and tasks with a gear shape are either the start of a particular chapter or a link to another chapter. And steps with a square shape are part of the main survival guide requirements. Steps and tasks with a circle shape are usually optional or just not critical. So we can decide what we want to do. So basically, we would want to do the stuff that's marked with a gear and a square. Okay, good. And making the most of the survival guide. Um, survival guide's been lovingly crafted, even if mainly out of guilt, to help you make a new life for yourself. And it's important to read what we've written. Yes, that's very true. And if you skim through, you might miss an important bit of information and die a cold, lonely, horrible death, which I don't want to do. And some tasks have very long explanations. You might need to scroll down to see it all. And to complete the task, you will need to complete the listed tasks. And so to ensure you hold the item in your inventory for it to be recognized automatically. Okay. And if you're wondering why a particular step is grayed out and unavailable to you, there is a little black arrow in the task box. This bit here. Yeah, there you go. Little black arrow. And um, if you open that up, you'll see the list of other steps you'll need to complete first. You can select one from that list to be taken to that step. Um... To that step in the guide and this is the little black arrow we mean which is this thing so there's no dependency so there's nothing to go to and there's no dependence there's nothing to go to there but there's just something to look at all right so we've done that brilliant so we've got the first bit farewell brilliant <laughs> and now we have a new life getting started oh okay let's Bring it on the screen. Breaking it all down for you. It's all in the preparation. Okay, distinct lack of resources. The only way forward is to find a way to recycle some of what you now have into something more useful. So to begin with, what's left of our scientific division has managed to pull together a plan to get you started. Trust in the process, follow the advice, and it will all work out in the end. Probably. Okay. So we get an iron pick pickaxe. And we need to get 16 not so goodium chunks. Hmm. Okay, so we head out into the snow, grab your pickaxe, and mine some of the not so goodium up. You should be able to combine what you collect into chunks, and it's nighttime. All right, let us let now we need a sleep charm. No? Okay. Do I have something resting on my keyboard? I don't think so. Alright. There's a charm slot. Which one? Oh. Well down. Um, there you go. That's interesting. I always thought you could shift click it. Oh, and it's daytime again. All right, let's go and see. There's a creeper that way. Let's go this way. I know we have to pick up stuff. All right, and also. Okay, is there no. I know. Someone had said, if you turn up the render distance, uh, video settings, uh, render distance, let's turn it up to 20, back to game, you'll be able to see what mobs have dropped, if there's anything, 
but there is nothing. Okay. Probably when I clicked it, it just put everything to night to daytime again. So there's that. Right, let's put the ration packs in the fridge. Don't need those. We need to go and get some not so goodium chunks. Not that side. Oh, hello, Enderman. Not going to mess with you today. Oh, maybe it wasn't a spider. Maybe it was the Enderman. Okay. All right, go away. Don't want you. Okay, so under the snow is not so goodium. Now, I wonder if we dig down to bedrock, is it all not so goodium? Or do we get other kinds of ores? There's only one way to find out. And do we have? Yes, we do. We have Ultimine, which is awesome. Carbon deposit. Okay. And we have no way of getting coal as yet. I, if I remember correctly, you can make coal from carbon, but I don't know. Can't remember. Been a little bit of a while. And I want to experience this as a new thing. So I'm going to forget that I did any kind of beta testing and assume it's all brand new and everything's been changed and I know nothing, which is really pretty much my default state. I do know nothing. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> there's that. So let's have a look. Do we have enough to make 16 chunks yet? Uh, I think you'd need a stack for that. And we don't have a stack as yet. We have a stack now. There you go. So we have that quest completed. Not going to go any lower because I don't want mob spawning down there. We have um, the, light, the light overlay mod. So down in the steps, it's yellow, but it's not red. And to bring that up, that's F7. I just want to make this look neat. I don't know why, because it's just snow. But I just want it to look nice, you know. Okay, let's put our snowballs in there. So we've got water processing nicely. And let's see what we get for our not so goodium chunks. No rewards. Right, so beggars can't be choosers. You might have noticed now that the knights are pretty scary. Those mobs, as we are calling them, um, seem to appear in droves after sunset. Be careful out there. On the plus side, it seems that some of them are affected by the natural radiation produced by the local sun, and some, if not all, perish in the sunlight. Better, Even better, some of them leave behind useful things. You might want to make it a habit to head outside in the mornings to pick up some of what's left behind. If you're really lucky, you should find some kind of meat product that could sustain you until we get a better food supply sorted out. Well, that means we go wait for night time again. Okay, there's that. I know what I want to do is to take down this wall so we have more space because we will need more space. I can say that now. I do remember you need the space. And we don't need the bed. I mean, it's only us. We don't need a separate room. We're not hiding from anybody. So let me just demolish the bedroom as you do. And get rid of those. I don't know why the Enderman decided that he wants to stay outside. But there you go. Obviously, he likes the warmth of my house. Right, so pick those up. Pick you up. Pick you up. And put the counters, I think, against the back wall. I might decide to do a basement. I don't know. Where are the counters? There they are. But I might decide to put them against the back wall. Take the bed. Put you in the corner and respawn. Set. What kind? Of, what time of day is it? It's probably midday. I can look at you. Not going to aggro. 
Right, so let's go. Let's go digging for some more stuff then. Because actually, I want to see. Oh no. Coal. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can make coal from carbon. Yeah, from the carbon deposits. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. And the chunks you can smelt into ingots. And then the ingots you can get um that is pulverizers. Oh you can um what do you call it? I think you can all double with this, if I remember correctly. Let's have a look. Put in one, you get two, yes. And you get silica dust. Alright, so let's leave those doing that then. And then do we have the redstone furnace? Then we can put the dust in the furnace and get ingots. And from ingots we can get sticks. Well, not sticks, rods. And from the rods we can make torches. I remember something. All right, there's two there. Can I do it? Here? Yes. One rod. And that gives you eight torches, which is good. Right, let's leave that. Oh, you know what? It hasn't. Oh, I need to claim my party. Claim my, my chunks. Uh, FTB chunks. Okay. Uh, claim chunks. Let's just do a three by three square. All right. There's that. Oh. And how do you chunk load these? If, right? Yes. Shift will chunk load it. That's that. We've got eight torches. Let's go and see how deep we can go. Put this stuff away though. Because we need something to do until it's night time. Put these away as well. Don't need that. Yeah. Oh, I can probably configure it's auto input, output, or output. Is that not the side? Oh, um, auto input enabled. That side, there you go. The automation, I can do it. Right, let's go out and let's do some more digging. Because, you know, instead of punching trees, we will be digging. Not the fastest, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And I should turn on F7. Now, sh now the next question is, should I dig all the way down to bedrock? Or, I don't know. Because I'm figuring there's probably layers of this stuff. But I don't know. What are we at anyway? We're at 65, so we're at, um, just above ocean level. Or ocean level? Sea level? Land level? Whatever. When you spawn in, it's at, you know, Y65, Y64. So we're quite high up in the world. I should put the torches in my offhand. That would make life a lot easier and a lot better. And there's no way to see... Oh, it's night time. But nothing spawned yet. Oh, there you, there you go. It's all spawning. It's all spawning. All right, let's see if we can get to the house without getting massacred. All right, and lots of stuff. 
on the mini map and sleep. Now we just wait for things. Oh no, they're going to be killed. And we gotta go look for mob drops. Let's go kill the um the spider. Uh, spider die. That. Thank you. Did we get any spider eyes? Nope. But yeah, see, I've turned my render distance up and I can see, let's turn off F7 because that's annoying. But we can see further that there's bones, there's arrows. I seem to remember hardest thing to get was spider eyes. Uh, nope, 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 not today, Mr. Creeper. But of course, the only spider in the area is next to you. I think, oh, he's just gone. Oh, he's gone too. Okay. But yeah, I seem to remember spider eyes were the hardest thing to get. Maybe I should just claim this whole whole bit so then when um so creepers grief us, then you know, we don't get what's the word? Blown to bits. Because getting blown to bits is not really my, um, not really what I want to do. Not this early in the game. Have a look at something. Um, we just need one spider eye. Click to view recipe. Mob drops. Zero to one. What does that mean? Zero to two. Bio, Bioza? Oh! One. Five percent. Oh, that's a cave spider. But And normal spider, zero to one. I have no idea what that means. Alright, so I'm going to keep digging down. I think I'm going to dig down to bedrock. Because, you know, you need... We need not so good EM chunks. That's what's going to get us started. Will all of our cuboid outpost goodness. And I'm going to keep digging. And you guys don't want to see digging because, you know, I know this is Minecraft. And usually you start pump, pumping, punching out trees. <laughs> this is not what you've tuned in for. To watch me dig holes in the ground. Because it's not scintillating. But also, it's Minecraft, and that's what it says. You mine. But let's have a... Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Wait till nightfall. See if I can get some more spiders to spawn. And if I can get that spider eye. Because there's loads of spiders. Did I go and... Hmm... But I don't think we're dependent on that, um, on that, um, that quest line though, now I think about it. Because I seem to remember there's a 3x3 three three thing. A smoosher? Something? Let's go have a look. Because that would make mining a whole lot easier. Alright, so that's not dependent. Uh, we want 16 ingots. All right, let's let's convert these. Got sixty-four chunks. Put them in the pulverizer. Got sixteen ingots. Awesome. No rewards. Then we can make a bucket from the not so goodium ingots, and also. We can make a bowl and we can make a lantern. All right, let's just go in a straight line first of all, and then we can do some side quests. So we need a torch, which we have, a lantern, and a not so good EM rod. Oh, that rotten flesh out there. 
go get it. How come that didn't despawn? That's interesting. All right, um, where are we? Here we are. Carbon deposits, let's turn those into coal. Not so good in pieces. Let's turn you into stuff. Ingots we have. Silica dust we're going to need at some point. Let's put this stuff here. All right, so you can be processed. You can go in there. We need that. Take that out so I can see what's in there and not think that something's happened. And... More of those. So we want a rod. We wanted a torch. And we want a lantern. And is a lantern. Man, it would help if I could spell. Now, is a lantern made in the normal? Uh, we need nuggets. Any nuggets. So, turn you into nuggets. Put you in there. Turn you into a nugget. Torch in the middle. And we have a lantern. Uh, we've got this little light of mine. And we get some torches and we get some lanterns, which is awesome. Right. Now we need armor. We need swords, a helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. And I think we could make all of those. We have 45 ingots. Yes, we can do all of that. So, helmet, chest plate, um, boots, and leggings. And we need stick and there you go, sword. Press completed. We're flying through this. Right, uh, basic. Because the best defense is not always running away. I always thought the best defense was running away. There you go. The um the hammer. We need a two blocks of not so goodium and a smasher. Oh, not a smoosher. A smoosher does something else. Right, we don't have enough for two blocks yet. Right. We do now, though. Two blocks. One, two. And... What was the other thing we wanted? So we need two, two of those, one in the middle, and two blocks. Now, this mines in a three by three, right? That's a good ingots and make your first smasher. No rewards. Basic storage. We don't need that just yet. And the quantum singularity. Let's go use the smasher first. Which side are we? I might take this door out so I don't get confused. Because I we don't need two sets of doors. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, three by three. That would make life a whole lot easier. Alright, so... Just looked to clock a clock, uh, a clock. Looked across at my clock. It's time for me to stop. I'm gonna try and keep these to half an hour. So what I'm gonna do? That's not what I want. Yes, that is what I wanted to do. Well, no, we want to go there. Right. So what I'm gonna do in between episodes? I'm going to mine all the way down to bedrock because I want to see if it's not so goodium all the way down or if you get different layers of ore because I know it used to be like that but cuboid might have changed it which you know is not a bad thing so but I want to go all the way down to bedrock anyway just in case so that's what I'm going to do between episodes 
and then we can get on next episode what we're we going to do we will at least try and get our first singularity get some hoppers so we can get some more automation and get yeah so we'll do this end of the quest line and i will also see if i can get some um some spider eyes because like i said it's hard to, oh it's night time oh okay hold on it's night time i really need to put some stairs in this thing All right, let's go smush some spiders. Spider, spider. The closest spider is this joker over here. Come on. I've marked you for death. Please give me a spider eye. I want a spider eye. Please, please, please. Thank you. Oh. See, there you go. See, that was a good way to end the episode. We got a spider eye. So let's just go back home. See what that's opened up. All right, let's run home. Oh, we can't really run, run. We're a bit hungry, but that's okay. But no, see, good way to end the episode. We got the spider eye. Great. Do we get anything from that? Uh, no rewards. Surprise, surprise. Right, so we've got that. Next episode, we are going to finish off this bit. Get our first singularity, because the singularities are the way to go. If you get Once you get um, something, you make a singularity out of it, and then you have almost unlimited... Um, an unlimited, unlimited source of it. So... That's going to be, that's going to be what we want to do. And we have other, wait a minute, we've got other quest rewards, right? Slaughterhouse. Ingredients. Oh, yes, yeah, salt and gunpowder. Water, okay. And what's that? Pack your bags. Wooden chest and leather, okay. Anything else? Because it did say quest completed. But no. Right. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.